breaking just moments ago, an announcement from the campaign of South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Huge fundraising numbers. $25 million in the second quarter. Joining us now, Bakari Sellers, CNN commentator. He has endorsed Senator Kamala Harris, we should note. Sarah Isker, CNN political analyst. And Jess McIntosh, CNN political commentator, former director of communications outreach for the Hillary Clinton campaign. Jess, look, $25 million is a ton of money, Huge. period. Yeah. And then also just $25 million for a guy that no one really had heard of six months ago, even more extraordinary. Well, I mean, I think, so he had a wonderful debate performance. I, I was expecting him to bring in a large haul. This is a very large haul. I think it, it reminds us that most Americans had not tuned in before this debate. Probably still most Americans haven't tuned in. But those who did watch the debate, we saw that Pete Buttigieg, I think, was the second most Googled candidate after Kamala in that, in that second round. They were just learning who this man was and he comported himself amazingly. He had that beautiful moment where he called out Republicans very thoughtfully for hypocrisy on Christianity, which I think was something given the deaths that we've seen at the border and the conditions of the detention centers, that people were really looking for that argument to be made. Uh, he, I think the people who tuned in saw somebody that they didn't know that they would like to get to know more and they, uh, they said so with their money. And Bakari, what does that mean for the other candidates, including uh, of course, Kamala Harris. Well, I think what he's doing is he solidified himself through this going to Mayor Buttigieg. He solidified himself amongst the top tier. That's what these numbers are about. This is a crucial seven-day period for every Democratic candidate. You're coming off the debate, whether or not you won the first night or the second night, uh, and then you have to post these numbers. And so you're going to see Pete Buttigieg, you're going to see Senator Harris, you're going to see Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. Uh, that is going to be a very solid uh, top tier. The questions remain about the money that will be put up by people like Cory Booker or Elizabeth Warren, uh, as well as Julian Castro. I mean, that is going to be the question. Uh, Beto O'Rourke once was a part of this conversation. I don't think his his debate performance was was awesome by any measure, and I also don't think he's going to put up a big number in terms of fundraising. Uh, and people have to remember that you have to reach that hundred and thirty thousand donor goal. Uh, and a polling metric in order to get to the stage for the third debate. And there are a lot of very well-known figures who are falling short of that today. A couple metrics. Uh, Senator Kamala Harris, we were told, raised $2 million in the just after, after the debate. Yeah, yeah, after the debate, just after the debate. So she, her fundraising numbers will probably be, be pretty big as well. And Pete Buttigieg, Sarah, we understand, has $22 million cash on hand. He's got a lot of money to spend. Look. And in a way, Sarah, this is just sort of saying, go ahead, Bukhara, you're laughing. No, I was laughing because I was just going to say that that I, I love Senator Harris, but her number ain't going to be twenty five million dollars. Yeah. I mean, Pete Buttigieg put up an awesome number yep. uh, and it needs to be and we need to recognize that. Yep. I think the only person who's going to outrace him will probably be Joe Biden. And we all know Bernie Sanders in the Our Revolution movement. They just print money over there anyway. Right. <laughs> and Sarah, what I was suggesting is this is a sign he he's here to stay. He is here to stay and he will, a, a force to be reckoned with. He did spend some time raising money. This didn't just happen magically. I mean, he put his shoulder into this. But again, this is a message, I think, to the other candidates. Absolutely. First of all, you're exactly right. He now is done meeting debate metrics pretty much at this point. He will now be guaranteed a place on the debate stage from this point forward, is my guess. But what I found stunning is when you are a senator, a governor, you have a fundraising apparatus that you have built over time, donor lists that you've built over time. You're the mayor of South Bend. You don't have any of that going into this race. It takes money to raise money. It takes an apparatus. It takes time often. They did it with none of that. So if that's a sign of things to come and the sort of smart choices that they're making along the way, um, I think that's a message to other candidates that, that they're doing this really fast and really well. Now, on the flip side, what we saw, you know, if this were 2008, 2012, the fundraising primary is a thing and it's real. What we saw in 2016 is that it wasn't, that there are other ways to get your message out. So it uh, is important to raise money, but it's also important mm -hmm. how you spend that money, whether you spend it smartly and whether someone else can do what you're doing without money. 